Question, isn't it? Yes. I love okay. it. Because, you know, that's the only thing you haven't done. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that in skydiving. <laughs> okay. Uh, then the other question I wanted to ask you is that uh, given the freedom of today's movies, if you were making Rain and playing Sadie Thompson today, would you and the filmmaker likely do it a different way with more freedom? And don't answer, just think. Good right. question, isn't it? Mm, like yes. Sadie okay. without the or haze, not, I mean, censorship, mm -hmm. not to, I think it's a great two very. Super so, and those are the only two because I know you're on a tight schedule and I am too this morning. So we'll just make, make it the best five minutes we are. Why don't you okay. put on your okay. Okay. Slow down. No, no, that's all right. You can just, just move on over. You're being more petite than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, I seem to be thing. shrinking. <laughs> oh, no. I do know this first day without a carnation. Oh, let, does it, doesn't she want her flower in the picture? What She's happened to the flower? That's all right. Oh. Well, that's all right. Well, Could I have my you. gloves? <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. What is your name? Bobby. Bobby what? Wygant. W Y. Wygant. Uh -huh. Wygant. W Y G A N T. Oh, well, it's uh, Bob Hope said to me one time. He said, "Now is Wygant your your real name or your stage name?" And I said, "Bob, would anybody choose Wygant for a stage name?" That's true. It's my real name, yeah. of course. It's my married name. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, because my nose is very much like his. Uh, is it really? Well, a little. It's Bob Hope's yeah. Yeah. nose. Yeah. And, uh, his goes, I think, tilts more maybe than yours. Maybe. Yeah. And larger, too. Your nose yeah. is not large, is not And his is not overly large, but his nose is larger than yours. That's yeah, a great personality, isn't he? Oh, he's yeah. wonderful. He's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Herb, do you have your 32nd two shot? Yes, I do. I'm amazed at the right. small amount of light you're using. Yes. Well, we checked it out and everything. Mm. It, it's very soft. Good. Very good. I like nice. a soft. I light. do too. Yes. <laughs> I always tell them, bring out, bring out the the gauze on the lens and the soft lights. <laughs> All right, Herb. Okay. When you're ready on your shot of, of Miss Swanson, you just tell okay. me. Okay, camera on. Miss Swanson, in reading your book, it appears to me that you have done so much over and above your acting career, uh, designing a stamp, designing clothes, sculpting, painting. I think you've done everything. Housework. <laughs> yes, housework, <laughs> raising children. Um, it occurs to me that you have done everything except maybe skydiving and, e <laughs> oh, and elective <laughs> office. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, have you ever thought about running for elective office? No, but some other people did. And when I was in California once, screaming and yelling about some political thing, they wanted me to be the mayor, if you please, of Los Angeles. I can't even imagine. I said, mayor? Well, I'm not so sure. He said, well, governor, you know, they were going to put it up. I said, no, 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 please. I'm not ready for that yet. Who knows? I mean, uh, my life is such a surprise every day. You never can tell what's going to happen to me or where I'm going to find myself. This is why we must do something about this stopping this retirement business. And I was very cross when they started on Reagan and his age, because some of the greatest people in the world were doing worthwhile things when they were in their 80s and 90s. Well, Churchill wasn't any baby, you know. And so I think it's naughty that we try to get tell people they should go away and die somewhere, because this is what happens to them. I think I'll die with my boots on, or little petite shoes, <laughs> fours and halves. <laughs> we can trade shoes. <laughs> That's you my too. size, yes. Where do you buy them these days? This is women's talk. Now, yes. Lord, tell me, please, because I don't know where to go. They're all fives or sixes. It's very difficult, Miss mm -hmm. Swanson, but I occasionally find a pair in my size at Saks, Fifth Avenue, and occasionally a pair in my size at Neiman Marcus. I heard about that, Neiman Marcus in Los Angeles, but I had no time when I was there. Well, we must get you some, what do you wear, four and a half A? No, B. B, all right. We'll get you some four and a half Bs, <laughs> at least where you can find some. All right. <laughs> Getting back to your career, Miss Swanson, given the freedom that we have in movies today, if you were making Rain and playing Sadie Thompson today, would you and the filmmaker do it in a different way? No, I don't think so. Uh, because 
while it was um, very strong in the language, and you must remember there were sailors, um, at the same time there was no, no um, ugly words, pornography in it or anything like that. That's what I object to today. And uh, Sadie was a little cruel to Reverend Davidson at the time, but we had, he wasn't a reverend at the time. In my picture, he was a, a, f a religious fanatic. And we have a lot of people, more or less, with different religions these days. So I imagine that I would say the same things that I said to, to him in the silent picture. And w some of the lines were from the play, play Rain. Psalm singing so-and-so. And uh, <clears throat> I think it would be acceptable and natural to the character. But when it comes to ugly four-letter words, I don't like this coming out of women's mouth. Would you do a nude scene as Sadie Thompson? No. There would be no point in it. It wasn't in the play. You asked me if I did rain. And if it were in the play, I probably wouldn't have done it. Um, I wouldn't do it. Because I don't believe that that, see, I think we've gone so crazy on the subject of sex. It's, it's too much. And to me, it's not as exciting as the people used to say, well, give any day, I'd like to see a nude leg. No, I don't want to see a nude leg. I'd like to see a black stocking, a little silk hose or something like that. And I, I agree. We had, there was a certain subtlety. I think, haven't you noticed that some ladies can tell a little naughty story, but they tell it quite different from somebody who is really vulgar, and you're not offended? Well, I think this is why, what should happen in pictures today. I think it should have a certain subtlety about it, because the way it is today, um, it's, I don't know, it makes me cringe. Just as all those horror pictures and these, they're so violent. Violent pictures, why? Why do people pay to be beaten emotionally? Sadistic, I suppose. And that's surprising to me because I don't see any reason for it. And I don't think it's very good for children. Not any more than I think their food is any good either, but I think a lot of things are naughty these days, what we do to the human body. And so I'd like to see some things change. Do you know that Tiffany's in New York, Mr. Hoving, uh, <clears throat> has now a course that you can send your child to learn good table manners. I think it costs 350 a, a session, whatever that might be, 12 lessons or something. Do you imagine that this has to be done in this day and age? Well, I hope, I hope they go the whole hog, go the whole way with it. Like when you hold a door open for somebody, at least they'll say thank you. I've often said you're welcome before they, because they pass through the door and, and you say you're welcome and they're shocked. They're in some kind of a dream. Well, it's from all the drugs they take. When I say drugs, I'm not talking about these hard drugs or that sort of thing, but to wake up and to go to sleep and all this sort of thing, which can work maybe the next day instead of the time you think it should take. And uh, there's a lot of things going on that uh, the human beings are doing to themselves that appall me. Imagine uh, you're afraid to go out alone anymore. And even if you're with a, a gentleman, it isn't going to do you any good if six people uh, attack you. And I must take this off. I don't know. Maybe your, your state is better than New York because they'll choke you to death. And what would they get? And look what they do to older people. And they know they're not going to get a lot of money from them. They're not satisfied. They must, there's a certain form of insanity going on. Sick, sick, sick brains. Ms. Swanson, we're back to where we started, and that is maybe you should think about elective office. <laughs> oh, I you know one thing I would do. I would insist that we enforce all laws because we make laws and then don't do, do anything about enforcing them. And I don't blame a lot of the policemen who are discouraged taking their lives in their hands, putting somebody in jail because they've shot somebody, and they're out the next day. I think this is wrong. And I know some laws that I was a party to, like uh, with um, uh, Congressman Delaney, an amendment in which nothing that was carcinogenic should be sold to the public. Do you know that's never been enforced? 
And I suppose if it were, there would be nothing in the shops to buy. Because everything has got something in it that it shouldn't have, whether it's wax on, to keep it from doing something, or, and, uh, or coloring, or a dyeing, or a gassing, preservative, artificial flavors, the whole thing. Why are we so dishonest? Why? A question that we'll have to ponder and hope we'll get an answer to. Can't make any laws time. against that. Thank you, Ms. Swanson. Thank, Thank you, you very much for your time this morning. Thank you. You'll just stay where you are, then he'll get one quick reverse shot, and then, then we'll be finished. Okay. Yeah. I, would, I want to change the educational pro change program for job. I want high school to be more like Antioch, where they go out on jobs for three months and learn something and come back and get credits and, and instead of all this football business. And then football heroes, well, the children have no heroes anymore. Why? because they're taking stuff, dope, to make them win a game, and then they're throwing games, and uh, everything, uh, no heroes for our children, not even a president. All right. Do you want to do the questions first? Yes. Testing, testing. I'll be talking at about this level, if that's OK. All right. And tell me, tell me when. All right, now what kind of shot do you have? Um, uh, pretty much straight into the camera, no? Uh, it's pretty young. Can you roll it? Ms. Swanson, it occurs to me in reading your book that you have done everything. Uh, let me start again. Okay. okay. Ms. Swanson, in reading your book, you have done so much more than just be an actress. You are a painter, a sculptor, a designer. You designed a stamp. I think you've done everything except skydiving and run for elective office. Have you ever thought about running for elective office? All right, now let me do that question another time, just for insurance. Okay. Ms. Swanson, in reading your book, it, all right, let me start again. Ms. Swanson, in reading your book, you have done so much more in your life besides be an actress. Uh, painter, sculptor, designer, you designed a stamp even. I think you've done everything except skydiving and run for elective office. Have you ever thought about running for elective office? All right, uh, next question then. Okay. Given the freedom we have in movies today, Ms. Swanson, if you were remaking, uh, I can't do it that way, okay, again. Given the freedom we have in movies today, if you were making Rain and playing Sadie Thompson today, would you and the filmmaker do it differently? If you were doing Sadie Thompson today, would you do a nude scene? Okay. And if I want to, let me try this. I don't know that I'll use this. Well, there are a couple of stores that I know of, Neiman Marcus and Saks Fifth Avenue. I have pretty good luck there, Ms. Swanson. Okay. Um, okay. Let me try that again. Well, not to be giving a plug to these stores, Ms. Swanson, but I have pretty good luck at Saks Fifth Avenue and Neiman Marcus. Okay, that ought to do it. Yeah. With some rather interesting viewpoints. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, 
I should do one more reverse question her and we can now that I'm thinking about what talking about older people Remarkable eyes. <laughs> 